Hi there, my name is Tuomas. Welcome back to a new video. I'm gonna show you some cool things that I found from my record store. Anyway, let's get right into it. Once again, my dog Hugo is eating a bone, so or chewing a bone, so that's where the noise is coming from, if you can hear that in the background. Uh, by the way, if you haven't seen, I did a recent review of the new Let It Be, or the recently restored Let It Be documentary by the Beatles. Uh, go check that out. Not a lot of people saw that video. I thought that every Beach Boys fan would be interested also in that video, but for some reason nobody watched it. Uh, but I guess that that's kind of surprising because I know for a fact that not all Beatles fans are Beach Boys fans, but I thought that all Beach Boys fans would be big Beatles fans as well and watch that video. But, but I think it's really cool that in this channel the Beach Boys videos do uh, most well out of the you know, all. I think that's just super cool. I love that. But let's just get right into it. Anyway, I don't... Uh, I opened up the package already. I don't buy new stuff that often for a few reasons. First of all, economical reasons. And second of all, I don't like to have stuff around that I don't need. So my uh, sort of... Uh, the way I buy things, it's, you know, I think about each purchase very well. Everything is well thought out. So I don't want to have things laying around that I don't have use for. Um, so, you know, and a lot of times when I buy things, I also sell things. So, you know, I'm kind of out of space right now. I should build a new record shelf, but that's sort of in the long run, one of my many projects that's hopefully coming to fruition sometime this summer but anyway so i have a few things one beach boys thing and two other things let's start off well let's save the beach boys thing for last because it's sort of the coolest one uh, as you can hear these were wrapped in plastic and are still actually wrapped in plastic um, i just took the padding off uh, the first one is Blu-ray of Leonard Cohen, Songs from the Road. So this is live compilation of live performances of individual songs from different concerts from his 2008-2009 tour. I haven't seen these these performances, but I, I have heard the live album, you know, the music-only version. And anyway, great stuff. Uh, he's most definitely one of my favorite artists, and I almost have all of his studio albums. I only am missing Dear Heather as of now. That's kind of hard to find. Um, then the other one is my only album. It is the Twin Peaks Season 2 soundtrack by Angelo Badalamenti and David Lynch. Mostly by Angelo. I think there's maybe, I don't know, maybe one or two songs with uh, credits. Songwriting credits by David, I think. Uh, it's blue, yeah, Blue Frank, I think, might be the only one actually by David. Yeah. Mm. What a horrible album cover. <laughs> Sorry, David. I mean, yeah, it screams David Lynch. He designed this himself. This was released uh, during the time period or during the release of season three in 2017. Mm, but I think this pressing might be a year or two later, I don't know, maybe 2018 or 19. I think it says here that it's a regular store day exclusive mm, and limited for 9,000 copies. Uh, I didn't get this eventually, but I, you know, when it was released, but I got it now. And I'm super excited about this one because the season 2 music is phenomenal. There's a lot of... Uh, tracks over here that I love. I think songs like Harold's Theme, um, well, Hulk Rock Dance, uh, Packer's Vibration, Dark Mood Woods, obviously The Red Room, uh, Love Theme, Farewell. But I think some of these tracks are so beautiful, like some of the you know most beautiful music ever. Written. Uh, I didn't know that it's gonna be wrapped in plastic. It is used, 
but not really because it's wrapped in plastic and it has the sticker everything well as the sticker is <laughs> apparently below the wrapper but let's open this up I never had the Smile DVD I only had the CD and I really want to get the album like the vinyl album too but it is so pricey and I was hoping for a re-release I was actually hoping for a re-release of this one too uh, this year, but we haven't got any an announcements even though this is the 20th anniversary of this So I'm kind of surprised of that. It's completely out of print uh, The Brian Wilson version and the Beach Boys Smile Sessions too, so I think it's <laughs> Really weird because it's their mo second most uh, Well-known album and you cannot buy that anywhere <laughs> It's kind of a <laughs> once again Beach Boys. What the heck are you doing? Wake up wake up <laughs> weird stuff but anyway, let's open this up. Let's open this baby up. It seems that it's kind of beat up, but I'm not sure how much of all this mess is in the the wrapping and how much is in the case itself. But it's funny how this old school uh, wrapping has it's it has sort of gone very hard. You know, it has a weird texture, and even the the embossed, uh, you know, these sort of uh, decorations have been sort of, I don't know. <laughs> you can see them on the wrapping. It's kind of funny. Cool. Doesn't smell like anything. Okay, this looks very weird. Kind of, you can see stuff coming out from there. Can you see it? Okay. Oh man, I would have loved if there was like... Can you see that? Is that like another... Is that... No. <laughs> it has gone... Can you see that? Like this is the actual plastic of the case. <laughs> and it's like that. It would have been so cool to have this with the signature by David and Brian, but... Well, it wasn't. Can you see that? I've never seen this happening. This must have been stored in sunlight. Can you see that? How weird is that? Uh, I hope I have somewhere a white case so I can switch this up for, you know, a, n a new one. That is actually like... As you can see, it doesn't doesn't hold hold the paper. Hm. That's really cool. I wonder, is there a poster here? I think there is. Whoa! How cool is that? I think Mark London. Yeah, he designed all of this. Anyway, I would have loved to see, and I still do, <laughs> want to see a restored HD or even, you know, 4K. I'm not sure which, which cameras they use to, let's see the poster, which cameras they use to film the show. But I would love to see either a HD or 4K rest restoration of that one. And maybe with some added footage. Oh! It's Brian over there. Ha! How cool is that? Wow! And over there, there's another one. I want to show how well you can see that. Wow! I didn't know that this was included. How cool is this? Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, can you can you guess what I paid for this? a number five euros so it's like I don't know six dollars maybe I guess so the discs are in amazing condition so here we have the uh, performance you know the concert and here is the beautiful dreamer documentary 
and I am so happy to finally have a, you know, copy of myself of this one because I think it's one of the best documentaries uh, related to the Beach Boys. And I'm pretty, pretty damn sure that the quality is better than on YouTube with all the compression. But I think I'm gonna end this video here and enjoy the concert. I'm gonna check that out immediately. And I need to find another case. <laughs> because this is sad. This is truly sad. <laughs> this is what happens when you store things in sunlight. But anyway, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, see you soon on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.